we'll do denial next. I'm going to play you a clip and then we'll get to it. Holocaust denial rests on four basic assertions. Number one, that there was never any systematic or organized attempt by the Nazis to kill all of Europe's Jews. Number two, that the numbers are far fewer than five or six million. Number three, that there were no gas chambers or specially built extermination facilities. Number four, that the Holocaust is therefore a myth invented by Jews to get themselves financial compensation and to further the fortunes of the state of Israel. War, the deniers say, is a, is a bloody business. There's nothing special about the Jews. They're not unique in their suffering. They're just everyday casualties of war. What's the fuss? Okay, and here's another question. How do we know that so many were murdered? What's the proof? Where's the proof? How strong is it? A clip from Denial there, early on in the film, which kind of sets up everything you need to know. Uh, that's Rachel Weiss playing Deborah Lipstadt. And Does she get denied? Well, um, she, uh, Timothy Spall denies something, yeah. and that's why it's called Ooh, Denial. There you go. So, uh, yeah, Rachel Weisz plays Deborah Lipstadt. She, this is a true story, in the late 90s, uh, wrote lots of books about uh, the Holocaust and, be, uh, and Holocaust deniers, and people who try to deny the Holocaust. Uh, she herself being Jewish and obviously having a lot of, um, you know, Sad, you know, yeah, sad, sadness about, sadness about, about what situation. happened yeah. and then you get David Irvin who comes along played by Timothy Spall who says the Holocaust didn't happen uh, David Irvin was known to be a Holocaust denier to be a Hitler historian to be a right wing fascist and uh, basically a bit of a Nazi so and this is all true I'm not like defaming him as he claims in the film this is all stuff that was proven so Timothy Spall's Irving uh, has to well he, he thinks that he's been defamed by Rachel Weisz's uh, Deborah Lipstadt, so he calls a court case of libel against her, so she then has to prove that the Holocaust happened. Hmm. So that could be a tricky situation. It can be, because uh, as is stated in the film, there's no photographs taken. Uh, we we were just chatting before this, and Son of Saul, there's somebody taking photos. That's believed to be the only photos. Is that right, Joe? That's, yeah, I think, I think that's the only... That's the only yeah. photos. But the, uh, taking, the, it, taking it inside while it was, you know, going yeah. on. So the Germans made sure that nobody took photos so nobody could prove it happened, and that's why people like uh, David Irvin thought these things, because spouting nonsense. So the film as a whole... It comes along at a very important time, I think you'll find. So, it was released on Holocaust Memorial Day, which in itself strikes a lot of chords. But also, it uh, it comes along when you've got a, a leader who shares views with <clears throat> certain yeah. people. <laughs> certain uh, ideologies. Certain ideologies, which are transferable. Some things that he said, which you could put side by side with <clears throat> that person, and you wouldn't really know the difference. Um, and, and, and overall... Spouts the same kind of post-truth, truthiness, alternative fact, BS, and um, it's kind of more relevant than ever, which is quite weird. I'd think this kind of court case back in the nineties that dragged on in the early noughties, people thought that would be you know a big stepping stone, a big milestone, and it is. But it's this kind of thing that keeps rearing its ugly head with people like <clears throat> and uh -huh. yeah. so. A film like this needed to present the facts and have that message of, you know, truth. And, you know, we, you can't deny these things because they happened. It's kind of very strange that you would even try and deny the Holocaust because it did happen. But they had to prove that it did, which is easier said than done. So a lot of the film is a lot of courtroom stuff, let's face it. A lot of time pouring through evidence and sort of saying, you know... How do we prove something that's kind of unprovable, but they find a way? It's a true story. This has all happened. So you will know that they did prove the Holocaust happened, and David Irving kind of was proved to have manipulated a lot of facts. This film is about as good as a film like this could be. Having said that, it's kind of similar to Spotlight, which is a lot better. So mm -hmm. you kind of, you could, you could expect more, I guess, because Spotlight was so good. In that same, it's not really about the Holocaust. It is, but it's not like, Primarily, it's kind of more about the truth thing, um, and it comes on at an important time. So that's kind of already got to say. That, that's all there is to it. Apart from the fact that the performances are great, Tom Wilkinson's great as the lawyer who oversees the case. Andrew Scott's good as well as this kind of uh, 
it's hard to describe his character. He's just not this, Moriarty. Not Moriarty. Yeah, it's, it's not Moriarty. But he's a very famous lawyer who deals with all this kind of stuff and has the chip on his shoulder a little bit. But along the way of the film, he kind of learns more about himself and how to be not an ass. Fair enough. Rachel Weisz, greatest Deborah Lipstadt, doing the American accent, doing the character a lot of justice, just has that very striking image as well. Man of the match goes to Timothy Spall, though, because he is utterly repulsive as David Irvin, like, full-on slime ball, like, utter creep, like... Yeah, ugh. I mean, I guess you kind of have to be of a certain breed to deny to n- the Holocaust. To deny the Holocaust, yeah, and, and, <laughs> and, and be a, you know, a Nazi. Basically. Yeah. So, aye, it's all right, it's pretty good. I saw recommend it, in, uh, it? Yeah, I would recommend it, yeah. I would. What it, so, I'm, I mean... A courtroom drama about the Holocaust. Mm. It's heavy stuff. It's a, it's a it's a hard sell. Yeah. Considering how heavy, do you think do you think they dealt with enough sort of en- en- enough sort of feather? Like what's that? What's that mean? When, en- when enough enough sort of enough sort of justice yeah. to the story. Uh, that's like, the thing. It, it does the story enough justice, and that's kind of all you can ask. It, it it's 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 been made to be released around now for good reason. I think like that's all we could ask for. There you go. It's fine. I would so have to endeavour uh, to watch it. That's Denial. It's in cinemas now. Tyneside, I believe, still showing it. Yeah. So go Get ahead. out and support your local cinema. Go ahead and do that. Independent.